All right, interestingly, while Prime Minister Narendra Modi was in Kerala, Congress President Rahul Gandhi also conducted a road show in Vaina district in Kerala this morning. This appears to be a battle for Kerala that is unfolding in the immediate aftermath of the Lok Sabha elections. Now, in the first of the seven road shows that Rahul Gandhi will be conducting in, in the constituencies of Vainar over a period of three days. Rahul Gandhi in the road show in Kalpeta today said, and I quote him here, even though I belong to the Congress party, our door will be open for every single citizen of Vainar, regardless of where they come from, regardless of what ideology they come from. The Congress president contested from two parliamentary seats in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, a meeting in Uttar Pradesh and Vainard in Kerala. He won from Vainard with a record margin of 4.3 lakh votes, but had lost in a meeting to BJP's Smriti Irani. Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be leaving for a two-day visit to the two Indian Ocean Island nations of Maldives and Sri Lanka. While with Maldives, the focus of, is, of course, on strengthening ties with the Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh government. With Sri Lanka, it is, of course, to send a message of solidarity in the aftermath of the 21st of April terror attacks. Here's more. In his first visit abroad after taking charge for a second term, Prime Minister Modi will be visiting Maldives and Sri Lanka. It is after eight years that an Indian Prime Minister will be on a state visit to the Maldives. The last was by Manmohan Singh in 2011. During the visit, Prime Minister will address the Maldivian Parliament, the Majlis, and meet the top leadership. In the last eight months, since the new government led by President Soleil took charge in November last year, there have been a number of high-level visits, including by the President of Maldives, Foreign Minister Abdullah Shahid and Defence Minister Maria Ahmed Didi. The Prime Minister's visit is essentially focused uh, in, uh, on three objectives. Firstly, it is to maintain contacts at the highest level between close neighbours. Secondly, we want to assist the Maldives as their development partner in the revival and development of their economy. And thirdly, of course, is to strengthen the people-to-people -people relationship we have with the Maldives. For strengthening defence partnership, both Prime Minister Modi and President Soleil will jointly inaugurate two defence-related projects. One is the coastal surveillance radar system that will help Mali preserve its sovereignty in the EEZ or the Exclusive Economic Zone. And another will be a composite training centre for Maldives' National Defence Forces. The total value of the two projects is 180 crore dollars. Well, it's a very historic visit. So all preparations are uh, in, in place. Uh, it's a big honor for us that Prime Minister visit is being accorded the status of a state visit. And that is the status which is usually reserved for visits by heads of uh, state. In our case, they made an exception. On cricket, the Maldivian side is keen to have its own cricket team and a cricket stadium and ask for Indian assistance. India has given cricket kits and is expected to coach Maldivian cricketers. India had sent a team of PCCI in May. And finally, on connectivity, India is planning to start a ferry service from Kochi in Kerala to the Maldives, which the Foreign Secretary said will significantly enhance connectivity. India is also working on 14 high-impact community projects, which involves connectivity within the island and speedboats for Maldivian students. On 9th June, Prime Minister will mark a short and packed visit to Sri Lanka while coming back from the Maldives. This visit is being described as a visit to show solidarity with the people of Sri Lanka. I would sum up this uh, visit to Sri Lanka as firstly uh, showing solidarity with the people and the government in the wake of the tragic events of the 21st of April and expressing our confidence in the government of Sri Lanka in overcoming this, uh, this national tragedy. Prime Minister will be the first foreign leader to visit Sri Lanka after the 21st April terror attacks that killed more than 250 people. Sri Lankan President Maitripala Sirisena had visited India last week for the oath taking ceremony of Prime Minister Modi for his second term. Modi visited Sri Lanka twice in his first term, first in March 2015 
when he traveled to Anuradhapura, Talaimanar and Jaffna and then in 2017 when he was the chief guest at the Vesak Day celebrations. The visit by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to Maldives and Sri Lanka sends out a clear message that for New Delhi, neighborhood first will be the top priority for the next five years. While in Maldives, focus will be on defense, cricket and connectivity. In Sri Lanka, India will be sending a strong message of solidarity for the people and the government of Sri Lanka in the aftermath of the 21st April terror attack, which killed more than 250 people.